Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Alexandra. I create beauty videos. And if you want to see how I created this pink cut crease look, then just keep on watching. To prime my face, today I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Prime Water. And along with the water, I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer. Now this next step is more if you want a nice glow to your face. I would go in with a liquid highlighter. This is the NYX Liquid Illuminator in 03. I believe it's the gold one. I will have it listed down below um, everything that I use today. So I like to just apply some to the back of my hand and I will just dab to the tops of my cheeks and then just using any type of sponge I will just dab it in so for today's foundations I'm actually be using two I'm gonna first go in with the YSL radiance awakening foundation and this is in the shade warm sand as well as the Cogendo Aqua Foundation in the shade 123. And I like to use these together because this one's more of a lightweight foundation. It's more watered down. And to this one, it's uh, full coverage, but it will still give you that radiant look that I love. And they do not cake up together. They are a bit on the pricey side, but definitely worth your dollars. I'm gonna do is use my NYX Dark Circle Concealing Corrector and I am in the shade medium and I'm just gonna apply it with a flat brush for my concealer today I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade light neutral so now to set my concealer, I'm going to use my Chanel translucent powder and this is in the shade natural so meanwhile my under eye sets I'm gonna use my Anastasia brow wiz in the shade medium brown to just fill in any empty spaces and as well to brush them So that's really all I do for one brow. 
since my eyebrows are pretty dark. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and brush away all the powder under my eye just using a regular powder brush. So the first thing that I'm gonna do for my eyes is use my Urban Decay Prime Potion and this is gonna help the eyeshadows last longer. And now I'm gonna quickly set my eyes. I'm just going to get a little bit more of the Chanel powder and just apply it with the brush all over my eyelid. So for my transition shade, I'm gonna use this shade right here. So now I'm gonna be applying this shade right here. So now using the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm gonna be using this shade right here. be applying this shade. For my brow bone, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild's color icon in the shade Brulee. And this is the perfect shade for my brow bone. I apply first this shade on top and then I will go in with any highlight or For the highlight on the top of my brow bone, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette in this shade right here. So due to the cut crease, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just apply some on the back of my hand. And now the best I can, I'm going to do a curved line for my cut crease. Another color that I'm going to be using for the cut crease is going to be the Jaclyn Hill palette in the shade. my essence eyeliner on the top line and for the bottom waterline I'm going to be applying my essence gel liner. And after lashes, I'm going to apply some Velour Lashes. These are in the style Domia. Now I'm going to be applying some color on my lower lash. And I'm 
gonna be applying some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And now for blush, I'm gonna be using Virginity from Kylie Cosmetics. And it's a really bright pink, but once you apply it, it's very nice and subtle. So now for highlight, I'm gonna be using Maybelline's Single Eyeshadow in Gimme Glow. lips I'm going to use Georgiana's lip liner and this is natural silk. And I'm just going to top it off with Kylie Cosmetics gloss in the shade Literally. Now for the finishing touch, I'm going to use my Morphe setting spray and I love this. I would really recommend this to anyone. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the cut crease look. Leave any comments down below if you have any requests or any questions, I will get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will be posting new videos really, really soon, I promise. I hope to see you guys next time.